sin. <laughs> Damien in Chicago, can you hear me? What's up, Matt? What's up, Don? How's it going? I just wanted to talk about uh, the existence of faith. I like to think of myself as a pretty rational guy, and I, I don't take a whole lot of things without um, yeah, sufficient evidence. When we get into things like the metaphysical, things that are not manifested in reality, uh, some people submit that you can't believe in them, and some people do believe in them. When you say metaphysical as something that doesn't manifest in reality, my, th my, my first response is you should go watch the transcend supernatural transcendent dice that Tracy brought in, because if it doesn't manifest in reality, you can't say anything at all about it. That's, that's true. We can't say anything logically. So about why, why would it even be a subject of discussion? It's a subject of discussion because of the existence of faith. We have people asserting that there is something which doesn't manifest in reality, which they can't say anything about it, but they want so desperately to say something about it that they do. Okay, how yeah. is this different from a delusion? It's almost no different from an illusion. Okay. <laughs> yep. But still, these people believe in this, and I, I'm, I'm one of them. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's very hard to describe because it does not manifest in reality, and our language is based on saying we say impossible to describe. It, yes, it is very impossible to describe. I guess you just have to take it on faith. Why would you have to take? Why would you have to or want to take anything on faith that it doesn't manifest in reality? It, you, you you can't say anything about it. You can't know anything about it. My 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 point isn't that you should. My point is that you would have to if you do believe it. Oh, I agree. That if, there's, that if there's no manifestation, that's the only way it's taken up faith. I'm asking, clearly you think this is something you should do since you do it, right? I'm not saying it's something you should do. I'm saying it's something okay. that I do do. Okay. So why do you do it? I do it because I have faith. I mean, it's, it's a circular argument. Faith exists because I have the faith. It, there's no rational explanation for it. I'm just saying that it does exist, and I do have it. Okay. So, so you do something that you recognize as irrational um, just because it's a part of who you are, and you note that there's no reason that you don't necessarily think that I should do the same. Um, Not if you don't feel you should. Okay, so I guess we don't have any problem other than uh, whether or not you take actions based on these faith claims, actions that apply to other people, then we'd have a problem. But apart from that... Uh, you know, I, I wish I could convince you that it's probably not a good, a, got, a good idea to, you know, believe things on that sort of non-evidence. But, in, you know, you and I don't really have an issue. Well, the, there's, there's nothing I can really think of that I don't base on rational evidence other than this one sort of box I have.